Is it just me or was Sona's press conference a little too weak? Uh, okay, let, let, let's just like. Hmm. I was, I was quite uncertain what this conference showcase, whatever you want to call it, was supposed to be. Uh. Okay, let, let, let's just go through the list here. Okay, so they. When I started watching it, I realized that they were not in like in the usual theater. They were in like some kind of like church tent or whatever. And when I saw that, I was like, "Wait, is this the real one?" I, I like checked multiple times to see if is this the e uh, the Sony E3 2018 press conference. I'm like, I had to I had to ma like make sure multiple times. I'm like, is this it? Is this really it? And I was like, "Yeah, it is." Like, okay. So uh, apparently, like. They said, like, we want to do things different for this conference or whatever. And I'm like, okay, alright. And then, after that, they sh this banjo player comes on stage and plays a little tune. I was confused. I didn't really know what it was all about. He was a good banjo player, though, but... I want to see games, goddammit. Uh, and then I realized that this banjo song was for The Last of Us Part 2. Uh, so I was like, okay, I get it now. And when I saw, and when they showed the uh, cinematic for The Last of Us 2, uh, it, it, it looked similar to the whole like church tent that the audience and the showcase was in. So I was like, okay, so they want to theme it up with The Last of Us 2, I guess, with this little cinematic. All right. I guess. Did they have to do that? No, I don't think so. Uh, so they showed uh, what I think is gameplay of the game. If it is like actual gameplay, then it looks really fucking cool. But I have this like little like doubt in my head. It's like, is that really gameplay or is it like? I don't know. It's. It just looked really freaking cool. Like, sure, I... Okay, I'm not a big fan of stealth games. It's not that... Oh, okay, it's not that I don't like them, it's just that I, I suck at them. Uh, and there was a lot of, like, stealth moments in here. Because whenever I play, like, a stealth game... Uh, well, try to be stealthy in uh, those kind of games... I'm like, okay, you, you feel, like, really immersed when, like... You're actually, like, being stealthy and, like, trying to avoid enemies, like... Trying to make them not, like, uh, recognize it, uh, realize that you're there or whatever whatever and but then you like die to some stupid bullshit and you're just like god damn it now I'm, I mean now I'm unimmersed <laughs> like that, that's the kind of feeling I get whenever like you fuck up during like stealth games like you like you go from a hundred percent to zero <laughs> basically um, but if that is actual gameplay like for real like a hundred percent for real then I'm I'm looking forward to it, like, actually, like, honestly looking forward to it, because you can do a lot of shit. And... Yeah, I'm sto- I, I, I'm stoked for it, oddly enough. Um... So yeah, I just hope that, uh, that it is actual gameplay, and whatever. And, uh, so yeah, I'm looking forward to that, I guess. I, I hope it is gameplay. Then they had an intermission an intermission for people to move to another venue okay what <laughs> okay hold on hold on they started this showcase at a church tent just because they wanted to show the last of us 2 in the same kind of like like, to make it feel like it's the same kind of setting. But then after they showed this game, they wanted people to move to a to the actual theater where the rest of the conference was gonna be at. Why? Why didn't you just start off at that theater? You didn't have to have the conference or whatever and like, start it off at this church. Didn't have to. And 
And during the intermission where people moved to the uh, to the other venue, they had these guys like talking like as if it was like a pre-show f- uh, before the conference even started. And I was like, wait, hold on, where are we right now? Where? I'm so goddamn confused. And and I'm, I'm just like, did it end? Or are they? Wait. You see, I can barely speak. I can barely speak. Like I was so goddamn confused, and they they kept on saying like, in, in just a few minutes we're gonna start, uh, with the, like we're gonna get back to the conference. I'm like, okay, cool. Twenty minutes pass. I'm like, just in a few minutes we're gonna start with the conference. I'm like, get on with it. <laughs> so during this intermission, they showed some stuff. They showed. A maps expansion for Call of Duty Black Ops 4. I didn't even know Black Ops 4 was out yet. I don't care. I haven't played a Call of Duty game since Modern Warfare 2. But yeah, uh, I guess a maps expansion is coming for Black Ops 4 or whatever. Was it called Black in... No. (laughs) Back in Black. Back in Black... Back in Black maps for Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Okay, cool for you Call of Duty fans. I don't know how many of you are still there. I feel like a lot of people have stopped talking about Call of Duty nowadays. Like, actually, like, it doesn't get as much attention as it did uh, a couple years back. To me, I find it a good. Th- I find it to be a good thing <laughs> uh, because mostly because I'm tired of that co- uh, franchise. And then they showed Days Gone for like five seconds. Then they showed Twin Mirror for like five seconds. Then they showed Ghost Giant for like five seconds. Then they showed Beat Saber for like five seconds. And then they started talking again for a couple of minutes. And then they showed an expansion for Destiny 2 called Forsaken. It was just a cinematic though. I don't play Destiny, but I know a lot of people do. Just a cinematic, though. It's no gameplay whatsoever. Um, but yeah, I, I, I guess you're looking forward to that. I guess you Destiny players. And then after that, they finally start the real conference with someone playing a flute. If the banjo player wasn't enough, then we got a guy playing like a Japanese flute or whatever. That one went on for a while. And I'm just sitting there like, okay, I know this is, I know that this time it is for a game, but get on with it, god dang it. <sighs> um, so apparently the game that the flute playing was for, was for a game called Ghost of Tsushima, which actually looks really cool. It's your, it's your typical like samurai kind of like game. Um, it's can I say it's like Dark Souls? I can't really say it's like Dark Souls. No, I can't. I can't do that. God damn it! Like I'm gonna, like that kind of combat is, like feels like Dark Souls. The like um, like Last of Us two that we just saw, and uh, <clears throat> it looks cool. I mean, the combat looks cool, but do I want a little more? I don't know, I'm probably gonna forget about this game after a while. Like, forget that they announced it and that it exists. But... (coughs) Yeah, uh... Ghost of Tsushima. Looks cool, I'll probably forget about it. (laughs) Until it comes out, I guess. And then they went on to a game called Control. Uh, It showed a little bit of, like, gameplay, I guess. And it seems like there's a lot of like telekinesis going on, which I'm a fan of. I like telekinesis powers. Um, I can't really say much about the game since they showed very little. It looks like the like the environment the environment looks very white and blocky and trippy, if I can say so. Um, it involves a female protagonist. Who kind of looked like uh, what's her face from The Last of Us and Lara Croft? <laughs> uh, looks cool, but then again, I'm probably gonna forget about it <laughs> after a while. 
It's made by Remedy and 505 Games. I haven't really paid attention to what they have done, but when those logos came on screen, I heard a lot of people like cheering. And I was like, okay, are they important? So I just wrote it down, and I forgot to like check it afterwards. <laughs> so yeah, tell me what they have done, if they have done anything. Uh, then, finally, after so many years, they finally show us more information and stuff about Resident Evil 2, like the remake. I'm happy about that. And it looks... It looks great. It looks awesome. It, it looks what I imagine it to like look like graphically. Sadly, from what I saw, from what they showed, it looks like it's gonna be in a uh, over-the-shoulder view and not the fixed camera angle view like the original game. Not sure what I, how I feel about that. Because I, I, when they first announced uh, that they were gonna make a remake of this game, I thought, I expected it to be like the, like the Resident Evil remake, like the original Resident Evil remake, like it's still like fixed camera angles, but it's like the improved like visuals and everything and just like expanded on the game, like make it longer and like adding more things to it and such. Because I feel like, I still feel like that remake is how a remake should be made. If you haven't watched my video on that game, then you probably should. <laughs> um, then when they, oh sorry, then when they announced Resident Evil 2, uh, the remake, uh, I thought it was gonna be exactly like uh, the first remake. Because the reason why they, like, well, one well, of the biggest reasons why they started talk, uh, making uh, the Resident Evil 2 remake was because they just released uh, the Resident Evil Remastered uh, on PlayStation Store and Xbox and, and PC and, like, and whatever. And it sold really fucking well. Like, Capcom was in, they were surprised that the, it sold this well. So then they released uh, Resident Evil Zero Remastered, um, the same way as it released the original remake. And it also sold really fucking well. And they were like, holy shit, okay, alright. It seems like people really like these games. Let's make a remake of Resident Evil 2. So they did, they started on it, and now they actually showed us, because back then they only told us that they were working on it, but now we actually got to see it. And I'm really happy about that, but god damn it, I want it to be fixed camera angles. And I'm pretty sure after seeing this, that it's not gonna be that way. Uh, it's probably gonna be like the over, over the shoulder view, uh, from what I saw. Which come, kind of bumps me out, but it could still be good. But god, I just want the fixed camera angle so badly. That, because that's what the original Resident Evil 2 was all about. It, it has fixed camera angles. Don't change it. Like, keep it, but, but expand it in the same way as you expanded like the original remake. Like, please, that's what I want. They gave us a date? It's coming out this January, like next year. So in half a year. Awesome. Cool. Uh, after so many years of not knowing anything, they finally showed us a game and a release date. Awesome. That's what we all wanted. Uh, and then uh, we got uh, the creator of uh, Rick and Morty being his Rick and Morty self showing off a little game for a while uh, for a short while called Trover saves the universe Trover save Trover saves the universe which looks like like an action platforming game I think it looks very cartoony it reminded me of Splatoon <laughs> uh, because it looks like very like jelly colorful or whatever and they threw in some like Rick and Morty style jokes in there I guess um and they really show too much about it, but whatever. Uh, seems fun, I guess. <clears throat> and then they went on to Kingdom Hearts 3 again. How many times have you seen Kingdom Hearts 3 during this E3 now? Um, 
I expected them to show the exact same trailer, but no, they showed something different this time. They showed the Pirates of the Caribbean world. And by the looks of it, it's gonna be about the world's end, at world's end, the third movie. Um, and I mean, it looks good, but I mean, it's, it's like Pirates of the Caribbean and then Kingdom Hearts. Like, it's just like the crossover is so like, it's so weird, awkward, but funny at the same time. It's like Kingdom Hearts is not a game that you should take seriously. And. I think Pirates in there, I like Pirates of the Caribbean. I I, I will play it. <laughs> I will. And uh yep, that wasn't Johnny Depp providing the voice of uh, uh Jack Sparrow. It was another guy who sounds a lot like him. Um but yeah, I have to look into that. Um They're releasing the game uh, they're releasing a game package for Kingdom Hearts Light was the Kingdom Hearts. 1.5 and 2.5 remix, and then uh, fuck, what is the other one called? There, there's, there's stupid names for Kingdom Hearts. I can't, for the love of me, remember. Um, three games plus Kingdom Hearts three in one package. Awesome, cool. Uh, a lot of people will pro apparently need that because if they want to try and like catch up with the story. They could at least get a little of that with this package if they really want to. Me personally, I don't care about the story all that much. I just want to play the game and see all the like the stupid crossovers with the Disney universe and whatever. Uh, like I want to play one and two, and I, uh, a lot of people have been telling me like you're not gonna like get the story at all if you play three without playing all the other games. I'm like, okay, but I barely. Got, uh, I, I barely understood the first game, like the first game story, so I think I'll be fine. Um, it's not its not the, my main priority to know about the story. Uh, I just want to fuck around with Disney worlds, I guess. And then they, afterwards, they showed us more about Death Stranding. They didn't show us anything last year, I think, if I'm correct. Uh, they finally showed us gameplay. If you can call it that, um, from what we saw, it was just the dude walking around, walking in like in a plain field, climbing up an empty mountain, and uh, walking by some shadow people, whatever shadow fetuses, or whatever. Not nothing really happened. I I can't really tell what kind of game it's, it's supposed to be. I didn't see like any like I didn't see any combat. I didn't see any like action. I didn't see any uh, what what the game. I didn't see it. What, I didn't. I don't know what the game is about. They showed us gameplay, but it's just a dude walking around. So I don't. I, I don't know what it's about. Well, Hideo Kojima always makes like trippy games, especially nowadays, and yeah, yeah, I, I would love to like expand on my uh, thoughts about this training, but I really can't because from what they showed, I don't know. Like, it's cool that we get to see gameplay finally and not just cinematics, but the gameplay was barely nothing. So I, I guess I have to wait and see what the game is gonna be about, gameplay-wise. Okay. Am I looking forward to it? Still, at this point, I don't really care. But I would like to care. So, yeah, I guess we'll uh, have to wait and see. God damn it. Okay, uh, so... After that, they showed us a cinematic for Nio 2. I know a lot of people like Nio, and they finally get a sequel. Good for them. Can't really say anything more about it because it was just a cinematic. I didn't play the first Nio. I think I have it actually. Uh, do I have Nio? Hold on, let me check. Nio, 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 Nio. I don't know. I don't think I have Nio. Okay. Um, so yeah, Nio 2. I guess you guys are looking forward to that, I, I suppose. Uh, 
And then they uh, ended the conference with Spider-Man. Okay. I'm not a big superhero guy. Like, I didn't, like... When I grew up, when I was a kid, I didn't care for, like, the superhero stuff. Like, I didn't care about Superman, I didn't care about Batman. I didn't even care about Turtles, even. Uh, like, Ninja Turtles. I didn't care about Spider-Man. I didn't care about any of those guys. And, like, not at all. Which is probably the reason why I'm not that invested in the... The um, the Marvel movies and the DC movies and whatever, yeah. But I've seen a few. But if I have to say, if there's one superhero in this like Marvel universe or whatever, or DC whatever, um, that I actually like am interested in, it is Spider-Man, because every other hero, the superhero, are like just like you, your generic like buff guy. Uh, superhero kind of thing, but Spider-Man is supposed to be like a teenager, like, and really like flimsy and uh, can I dare I say like clumsy uh, with his mind and whatever. So I feel like he's a little more different, and I like that about him. So uh, recently, I've gone, I've grown to like uh, like Spider-Man more than any other like superhero uh, in the Marvel or DC universes. Uh, and they showed more gameplay this time. They showed gameplay uh, of Spider-Man last time as well. But they showed a lot more this time. And it looks really cool. It looks very like Batman Arkham Asylum-ish. Like, in terms of combat and whatever. Um, and it looks really cool. And I like... And I mentioned it multiple, time, multiple times. And like... With games, I love like swinging and like grappling. Like swinging around and stuff. And Spider-Man is the perfect character to do that with. Because the spider webs, you know. Um... So yeah, this is the game that I'm looking forward to play, and they showed off a lot of uh, uh, the villains. Like they showed Electro, Rhino, uh, Scorpion. Uh, what's a Scorpio? Oh, I don't know. And uh, fuck, what's the other guy? <sighs> Fucking bird guy. <laughs> and the uh, uh, black face, white suit. Uh, <laughs> I forgot their names. Uh, let's see. This is how invested I am in that universe. Um, but yeah, it looks really freaking cool, I want to play it, I really want to try it out, I like Spider-Man now, and uh, yeah, that's what they ended the conference with. So, f final thoughts? Sony's press conference was very, very weak this year, comp especially compared to last year's. Um, especially, like, they started it off so weirdly, like, with the whole, like, first time, like, first off, the audience, like, uh, is in this, like, church tent just to see uh, what's going on with Last of, the Last of Us 2. Uh, and then they force people to move over to this other venue. And during that time, during, and as they're going, they have this little, like, little intermission of this, like, pre-show looking as thing where people are just talking like basically interrupting the conference I feel like they should have like just started off in the theater they didn't, they didn't have to do the whole uh, church tent thing just because you want to feel like you're in the last of the last of us 2 cinematic they didn't, really didn't have to do that and Sure. Okay. I, I, uh, when they when the actual like conference started at the actual like theater or whatever, um, it was more like a showcase than a press conference because they didn't have people coming up talking about whatever uh, about their games, which I'm complete I'm completely fine by that because that me just means that we get uh, a game after game after game, which is great. But even so, like, uh, fuck. I just feel like this conference was very weak. I know they said that they wanted to make it different this time, but I don't think that helped at all. Because Sony, honestly, like in previous years, Sony's press conferences have been like the highlights of E3. But now, not so much. So I give Sony a 5 out of 10. Mostly because how confused I got during the show because they had this like they interrupted themselves pretty much uh, with this like church tent then the intermission and then 
just like, you know what I'm talking about. I mentioned, I have said it multiple times. Uh, there are a bunch of games that I'm looking forward to play, but it was very weak. Like the highlight was probably Resident Evil 2 uh, and The Last of Us 2, I guess. And Spider-Man. So yeah, that's Sony. Um, last up is the big boy himself, uh, Nintendo. God, I hope you make me happy.